Hey guys, it's Cameron back once again bringing you guys a brand new video today. Today we're actually going to be doing my full review of a speaker that I previously unboxed on the channel, and that's the Thonet and Vander Veritrag BT speakers. Now these speakers retail for $129 on their Amazon page, and I'll include a link in the description down below where you can check it out down there if you're interested in learning a little bit more about it or possibly purchasing one. Anyways, make sure to leave a like rating on the video and subscribe if you enjoy it. Let's jump right in the video and I'll tell you if these speakers are worth your money. All right, so let's start off the video by taking a look at what comes in the packaging if you do decide to purchase these speakers. The first thing that you're going to get is going to be a user's manual that just basically shows you how to set up the speaker. Next up, you're going to get a power cable which plugs directly into the wall. There's no power brick, it's just the cable which I really like. Next up, you are going to get your audio input cable. This is outputting to a 3.5 millimeter jack that plugs into your uh, laptop or your smartphone um, and then plugs into the speakers using a left and right channel audio cable. Um, this does have Bluetooth as well, so you don't have to use this auxiliary input. And then finally, the last thing you are going to get is going to be the copper cables that connect these two speakers together and allow the sound to travel from the left to the right speaker. That wraps up what comes in the packaging when you do purchase the speaker, but let's go ahead and jump right into looking at the actual speakers themselves and discussing the build quality. Now let's talk about the actual design and the build quality of these speakers. If you take a closer look at these speakers, you can see that they definitely follow the design pattern of the Hotch and the Kerbis speakers. They look very similar. I honestly love this design. It does also still use the HDAA wood, which I like a lot because it really helps to cut down the vibration whenever you are playing loud music, and it also looks really good. I love how the speakers are solid black with the yellow accents on the woofer, and I honestly prefer these speakers to have the screen off. I think it looks a lot cooler, but in terms of design and build quality, these feature great build quality with uh, high quality uh, components that really help it stand out. And whenever you do you know, feel the speaker, you definitely will know that it isn't going to break and isn't going to deteriorate very easily. I mean, the overall look of it looks very nice when it's on your shelf or in your house. Now taking a look around the speakers, you can see that on the very front we have the woofer and the tweeter of these speakers, and this is on both of them. But if we flip to the side, you can see that on the right channel speaker we do have knobs. And these knobs are great because they do independently control the volume, the treble, and the bass of these speakers. I love this a lot because it's independent of the phone and is more about the speaker, so you're e easily able to adjust the speakers in terms of bass, how loud it is, um, the treble, how loud that is, or the volume, how loud that is. And this is all independent of your phone and is attached to the speaker which I really like. Now on the back of the speaker you can see that on the right channel one we have various inputs. We have the power switch back there, the power input, um, the cable to connect these two speakers together, and an audio input on there as well. Now on the left channel one we just have the input to connect the speakers and not any of the other stuff. So you are going to control these speakers from the one main unit but they do both connect and play audio you know, from the same source. Okay, so now that I've showed you kind of the design elements of these speakers, you know, how they work, what they're made out of, the overall build quality, let's talk about the audio quality. So I'm going to give you guys a sample of what they're going to sound like playing music through them. Um, keep in mind though that I am using a Blue Snowball microphone to record, so it's not going to be 100% accurate of what it could sound like at your house if you do decide to buy them, but it will give you guys a little sample or an idea of what it could sound like if you do decide to buy them. So let's go ahead and play some music and you can hear what these speakers sound like. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up my review of these Thon and Vander speakers. Um, in conclusion, the audio quality is excellent with great treble, great bass. Uh, build quality wise, same as the Hotch BT and the Curvis BT, excellent build quality, very similar design, so I really like that about these speakers. Their product line is very consistent. So overall for $129, I really don't think you can go wrong with these new speakers. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're interested in checking them out further or possibly buying them, you can visit the Amazon link in the description down below. I'll have a link to their Amazon page and their website so check down there for further information anyways guys that pretty much wraps up this review i can definitely recommend these speakers and if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like rating also subscribe to the channel both those help me out a lot um, and i'll post new product reviews i try to do every week but it turns into about every two weeks but if you guys subscribe it'll definitely encourage me to post more videos anyways guys that's really all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in my next video see ya